Hey everybody, welcome to my shop. Come on in. Well, hey everybody, it's Tom here. Back in the shop, I got another project, so got another video for you guys. <laughs> a little bit of downtime, don't have any work right now. It is a uh, beautiful mid-November day. It's probably one of the last days I'm gonna have the doors open. Sun shining, it's about 60 degrees. But uh, at the end of the week, it's supposed to get back down in the 40s, and that's probably when Mother Nature, or should I say, Father Winter is going to uh, settle in and you know, I won't have any sunshine in the doors coming in. So, it is what it is, but I got the firewood ready. So, hopefully it'll be a good winter. So what we got going on this time is, got a uh, baby Camelback straight edge. So this is one of the nine inch Rucker cast iron straight edges that uh, Keith Rucker sells on his channel. And he has, uh, Clark Easterling over there at uh, Windy Hill Foundry. Cast these up. This is one of the earlier castings that they made. It's probably the first run. And unfortunately, they've got um, hard spots in them. So I wanted to do this project on the shaper. Adam Booth. He ended up getting one of these early ones too, and he tried to do it on the shaper, and of course, he, we just, he discovered the hot spots, and that just ate up his high-speed steel. So he had to go back over to his uh, horizontal mill and do the project. So instead of even trying to attempt it on the shaper, we're gonna do it on my horizontal mill. We're gonna do it on the Abani. We'll get this thing all milled up, and then we'll get it over to the Surface, pull, uh, surface grinder, grind the top, and that's as accurate as I can get it. I'm not a scraper, so that'll work for uh, you know everything I do. So that's the plan, that's the video, stick with me. I'll go over there and get set up on the mill and we'll get some chips flying. Got everything set up. Basically what I did is, you know, just kind of took the average, trying to get it lined up the best I can because it's a rough casting, so. Got a big, uh, let's see here, I think she's a four incher. Yep, uh, four inch carbide insert. Nice Walter, or about uh, what, nine and a half centimeters. So that should chew it up just nicely. And I'm running about, uh, we'll see how she does. Thanks to my chart from Aaron, running about 170 RPM. See how she likes it. I dialed in about 30 thousandths. So here's I'll get you situated on top. Hopefully that'll be a decent shot, good place for you. I may move you around a little bit if need be. And uh, we'll go for it. Feels good and rigid. That's the first pass. Looks pretty good. Trying to get you in there, a good shot. Let's uh, take off at least a, another 30 or 40. Uh, a 40 thou depth cut. 
same RPM. Of course, got a little chatter until she finally gets into the cut. That's what the uh, second pass looks like. She's looking pretty good. Feels good too. Trying to hold the light and the camera, so can't run my finger across it to show you. Just got a couple little spots there on the edge. Obviously, we're going to mill this top down, but I may just take a, a skim pass on her, and we'll be good to go. Ready to cut the top so shit is uh, perpendicular to the bottom there. Got a six flute end mill in. Still same speed and feeds. So let's see how she likes her. Got it at uh, 20 thou depth of cut. Just kind of get cleaning up the high spots here. Try this again. I thought I had her dialed in. Hang on. Take two. Double check so I don't bozo. There's enough clearance between the end mill and that nut, so we'll be good. Let's take a look at her. Doesn't look bad, starting to clean up. Still got a low spot over here, so I'll bring her up and make another pass. Just hand feeding, taking about 10 thou off. Got just enough room to get past my setup block there. So that way I don't have to move anything and everything's gonna be nice and perpendicular or square to each other.
just wrapped it up. Get you down in there. Hopefully you can see that. Back looks good. So the advantage to doing this in one setup is the two sides are obviously going to be perpendicular or square to this side and two sides should be parallel and you know the back should be perpendicular to this side and to these sides so when we put a square on it everybody's going to be square so all we got left to do now is uh i'm gonna take it out and we're going to turn the head 45 degrees and we'll cut that 45 degree side and she'll uh she'll be done on the milling and then we just take it over no i'm sorry i need to uh just dust off the top here so that way when we flip it upside down and surface grind you know the bottom then the top part is parallel with the bottom so we don't have any screw ups there since this is still rough casting here on the top. So that'll be the last milling operation. And then we get to go over the surface grinder.